This week we are joined by Coach Mone Fisser from Team CRT in Pretoria. Mone, thanks for joining us. You're welcome. Mone, for those that don't know, give us a bit of your background on your MMA journey so far. Long one. I'm an old man. Uh, been in the sport forever from the age of six years old. Uh, the freestyle wrestling, boxing in school. Um, then after school I did a bit of Kyokushin Karate, a little bit of kickboxing. Um, then basically started K1, the pro side in South Africa. Started put up events in the good old days in shopping malls. And my gym just grew, grew. it was just pro side, nothing amateur. It's basically the uh, same deal as what they did in Japan, K1. And K1 just died fast because people wanted to see more. They wanted to see um, cage fighting. And that's what we called it in the old days, cage fighting. So I started that in South Africa in basement. And um, not a lot of people know it. A lot of people heard of it and heard the rumors. They, they're not rumors. That's what we did. Um, the guys murdered each other in the basement. Um, and that's how MMA started in South Africa. We actually copied what the Americans were doing. Obviously not legal, it became a legal sport eventually. And then a bit of a myth that's going around in the MMA circles is the Friday night sparring sessions at Team CRT. Give us a bit of a background on that. Look, a um, lot of guys from other gyms in the past came to ask us if they can because they've heard about it. But I've never had I've never had a guy from another gym joining us twice. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we go hard, but um, I've, I'm just a believer of train hard, fight easy. So, and the guys go so hard that uh, when they get into a cage um, on a fight night, um, they are so well prepared. Um, you know, look, at the, look at my guys' faces, look at what they look like, um, and they love it. And give us your standout moments as a coach of, of Team CRT, MMA and K1. Yo, um, many, <laughs> many, many, many. Obviously in the K1 days, um, gathering all the titles. And um, it was at some stage, it was so bad that nobody wanted to fight us. That's why the MMA side was such a relief for me because I couldn't get fights for my guys. We did, we did 16 man's, eight, eight man fights, and then where you draw uh, out of a hat, uh, the guy you're gonna fight. So on the K1 side, guys fought four, five times a night. Um, so those were exciting days where you would carry your guy out of the ring, fix him up in the change room, carry him back, fight another 15 minutes. So yeah, it was, those were exciting days, but I must be honest with you, the biggest moment maybe for me, especially over the last few years, was when Drikas got the second belt. Um, and Drikas started with me as a baby. So uh, we're still working on so many aspects and he believes so much in me. And it, it feels, it, it's all worth it. I mean, this is, it's hard work. I don't get paid for this. It's hard work being here every night. Takes, of, takes away your social life. Um, uh, I've got two kids of my own, and then I've got 22 other kids. And I think I spend more time with my other kids, but we have good times because it's a family. Um, that's why I think the Friday nights are such a good thing because the guys come here, all most probably very frustrated from having a frustrated week, they move each other, get it out of, off the system, out of their hearts, and then we drink, we drink beer. Mona, thanks very much for joining us.